Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are we ready for supporting actor? Let's do it, because, yeah. yeah. All right, I think we're all going to agree here, but someone could surprise me. Um... I haven't seen The Fighter, so I mean, oh, I've heard really? really great things oh. about Christian Bale. Christian, Christian Bale is a genius, show and you know, and I, you know, all, all is great. All all I can do is speak to how phenomenal one Jeffrey Rush is. I don't yeah. think that'll surprise anyone. I, you know, no one is saying but wonderful things for him, and I, you know, it's definitely a, a change for, for, from Pirates in the Caribbean. Yeah. I, you know, he he definitely stepped it up, and I was pleasantly surprised and I feel like he you know I mean obviously he and Colin Firth really made the movie um and you know Jeremy Renner and I mean yeah. and for a film that you know d- didn't get nominated for Best Picture I think it says something you know for him to have ended up in this category and it, I, I, it's no surprise because he really was believable and really you know interesting and I, I got sucked in and he sucked me in See, I love when when um, actors get nominated for movies that aren't nominated for any, or like for films that aren't nominated in any other categories, because it just shows what a fantastic job they did. Yeah. Like, I, I agree, Jeremy Renner. Like, I I think the the town was a strong film on its own, but I think he was great in it. Yeah, I think he, I don't think he should win, but I think he, I think he definitely deserves nomination. It's a pleasure to be nominated. <laughs> yeah. Those. This is a category I have the least amount of problems with. I think it's more or less pretty good. Um, I think they got a little fancy with John Hawks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, while I liked Jennifer Lawrence a lot, I didn't think Uncle Teardrop was uh, yeah. that great in Winter's Bone. He was good. I would have honestly, I know you don't agree with me, I would have liked to see Andrew Garfield here. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I would have. Well, also, um, or I think he was phenomenal in uh, Never Let Me Go. He was really good in that. Okay. And I'm that fine. movie didn't get any play in, in this trail. But he was, he, I mean, the, all three of them in that movie, Carrie Mulligan, Keira Knightley, and him. Uh, Carrie Mulligan's the main character. Is it Carrie Mulligan? I keep thinking that's Michelle Williams in that no, movie. Okay, it's yeah. Mulligan. It's British. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why it's That's probably why it's, yeah, that's a race for your mind. <laughs> um, Carrie Mulligan's thing. the lead, and then Andrew Garfield and Keira Knightley are supporting. But um, it's just, he's so innocent, and it's, it's just, but he's like torn, and he's in a relationship with one, but he's in love. It like it, it was he. I, I don't know. I think he could have gone. I like him as an up and comer. I think he's got. I mean, he's gonna be Spider Man, but whatever. The amazing Spider Man. Yeah. I'm okay Corny. with it. Gag name in this film. Um, but yeah, no. So I think. I mean, maybe now that he he had some decent roles this year, so I don't know. For one of those two, maybe never. Probably never let me go over social network. I guess. This. Okay, this was, yeah, also the category. I have Andrew Garfield on here as well. This is also the category where I felt they could have done with ten nominees. I felt there were a lot of good performances. Yeah. Who else are you thinking? Um, the ones I didn't pick to go in, but I thought deserved just to be named here, Andrew Garfield, Matt Damon from True Grit, and Vincent uh, Castle from The Swan. See, yeah, there was talk of Vincent Castle. Um, I don't know anyone else who could have played that part. Like, is I, I don't know. He's he, just so sleazy and European. Yes! I don't know, I guess, and, like, I guess other people could have, but I just felt like he was just, yeah, he was just so perfect, like, he was seductive, but not, like, he and crazy, but, like, demand, uh, oh, I don't know, I thought he did a good job. I don't know if it was, it's not, a nom- like, yeah, deserves a nomination, but definitely some type of recognition. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's French, because the first movie I ever saw him in was The Crimson Rivers, which is uh, a French really? movie with Jean Renau. Ocean's Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> But he's got, like, a French-Italian, like, mix going, yes. kind of, and it just makes him so much more sleazy European. I love it. <laughs> yes. You know, it's really funny that you mentioned Matt Damon for uh, True Grit because I had forgotten about it until now, but I remember when I was watching the film, I was blown away by Matt Damon. I re- you know, it's funny because I remember everyone being like, oh, Jeff Bridges, and I think that's just because, you know, Jeff Bridges is obviously phenomenal in whatever he does, but, um, I, I, man, Matt Damon... He, you, you lost the fact that it was Matt Damon. He did that good of a job. And, yeah, the makeup was great. But, I mean, he his acting, I thought, was phenomenal. And, I, you know, I, I really was able to forget the fact that it was him. Which, you know, it's a risk when you take that big of an actor. Because, you know, sometimes people can get so caught up in, oh, that's who it is. But I really did get caught up into him and his character. As Labeef? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because there were some other characters where I couldn't do that with. Like, I'm not going to lie, whenever I watch Social Network... 
when Timberlake was on screen, I was like, hey, Timberlake, yeah. how's it going? I know. I, I, I was like, you're Tim, yeah, from, yeah, exactly. From the sink with the curly hair. Yeah. yeah. But, then, but then you thought douchey, right? But then you're also supposed to think douchey of, you know, the Napster dude anyway. So yeah. that was really technical. It, I think it was good casting. Yeah. I don't think he did anything spectacular. I think it was really good. Yeah. yeah. You still thought douche, so it's okay. Yeah. The, um... Two that I think I'm going to insert in this category, though. If I'm taking out Are John you, Hawks... How is Ewan McGregor? Is that... And I'm not going to put him in there. He was good, he but was he good. just gets so overwhelmed by Jim Carrey okay. that I just I didn't think he truly got a chance to shine. He was good in the film. Don't get me okay. wrong. I thought the Continue. film was good. Your... I'm also taking out Mark Ruffalo. Ooh. I mean, I thought he was good as well. But okay. he was... I always like him. I, I felt yeah. like that movie got nominated not so much by the gay agenda... But by the organic food agenda, because he <laughs> plays an organic food farmer, and they like stress it heavily throughout the whole film. Wait, so you're taking out John Hawks and Mark Ruffalo? Yes, and I'm putting in Robert Duvall for Get Low. Okay. Which I have not seen that, but I've heard mm-hmm. he was excellent. Was he supporting? He was supporting. Yeah, okay. I would say Bill Murray was the star. Okay. Um, and he was good, also, but just not good enough to knock off yeah. one of the already nominees. And I'm also, I know you like Tom Hardy. I'm gonna nominate Joseph Gordon-Levitt for Men's. Really? Inception. Yes, yes, oh, really. He was good. He was good, but I don't. What did he do that was so special? He walked on walls. Let's be serious. Okay, that he, part made me laugh. He, I cannot stress. I mean, a I number him, of people who but, said, you know, he he kind of stole the movie from from Leon. Yeah. He he was he was great. I don't know. I liked Tom. Oh, who's playing Tom Hardy? Is that his real name? Yeah, that's his real name. Oh, I liked him. I thought he was. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I, I remember, yeah, Joseph Gordon-Love, but I just don't remember him doing anything, like, spectacular. I, he was funny. Like, he had a lot of, like, funny parts. I felt, felt like, I don't know. Interesting. No, I thought he did a good job. I agree. I love him in 500 Days of Summer. I might be slightly biased. I'm a big fan. Ever since Brick, I've been a big fan of his. Yeah, no, I... But I, I just he thought that he, he was excellent in it. Plus, he's such a spaz in real life. Have you ever seen an interview with him? He's yeah. a spaz. And like, That's awesome, though. I love it. Yeah. See, like, well, because he does such a good job acting suave. Right? Well, like, <laughs> in 500 Days of Summer, like, he has moments where he's a spaz, but, like, I've seen, I saw interviews with him talking about that movie, and he was, like, all over the place. He was, like, his third rock from the Sun character. That's, like, awesome. That's how he is in real life, but, like, lately he's been playing, like, these, yeah, more straight characters, and it's just kind of... Great acting. I, yeah. You know, he's, uh, he was... He was Attractive yeah. in that movie, and oh, I no, generally see yeah. him as a little scrawny, gangly thing, and I mm-hmm. wasn't thinking, hey, scrawny, what's up? Angels in the Outfield. <laughs> <laughs> um. Now, you said you haven't seen it, though. Rosie, are we agreed that Christian Bale wins this category, yes. though? Yes. I was marginally shocked at the end of the film to see that he played Dickie Eklund. I thought it was going to say Dickie Eklund played by actual crackhead. <laughs> yeah. I'm convinced he went method actor. He Daniel Day Lewis this up and he freebased crack for this. Yeah. Role. Well, the thing is, um, it's so interesting because I've I've read a lot and I've like seen a lot on this and I saw like this E special with uh, the sisters in the movie and they're all like, yeah, I'm going to ask this when Christian Bale's like. We don't know. He was Dicky Eklund the whole time. Wow. Like he just I mean he does meth not like hardcore like on crack method acting, but he's in character like the whole time. And the um when I saw the talk back, uh Mark Wahlberg was like, Yeah, he's like people were confusing him with the actual Dicky. Like people were coming up to him thinking that he was Dicky Eklund, like it like just from behind. Because uh-huh. like, his mannerisms and like I told you at the end of the film, they while the credits are rolling they have a short little blip of um, the real Mickey <coughs> Rourke and Mickey Eklund and the mannerisms that Christian Bale got from him are just phenomenal like just, just the hand gestures all over the place and the way he like elevates his voice and like up it's just it's ridiculous how spot on he was it's just yeah I just find it a sh- I mean can you just give Jeffrey Rush an, a number two award I mean yeah because I feel phenomenal. like he would have it for sure if and he, I, mean, I know he did a you know a fair amount of preparation for it too. I just you know I understand. I, I and I hear you and I agree. You know I and I haven't seen the film, but I, I mean, God, he he was just so phenomenal. I'm yeah. giving Jeremy Renner the number two. Really? I have Jeffrey Rush at number three. And here's my thing: you're aware Jeffrey Rush already has an Oscar, right? You said so. You said it's a you said it's a step up from Pirates of the Caribbean. If that is his previous high, then <laughs> you honestly haven't seen Shine. <laughs> You haven't seen Shine or Shakespeare Love or Quills or no, any of those. I, 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 
I, sorry, that's just that I, the, the last thing I think of, okay? Yeah, no, but, I, yeah, I was there with you. But, you know, I, yeah. No, I, I don't remember what I was going to say, unfortunately, but, man, I, I that you like Chris, Jeffrey Rush and that raised pre- prejudice against British people. You are prejudiced <laughs> against British people. What is uh, what does Jeremy Renner have coming up? <sighs> I know he's got. Oh he's he's in uh, the Green Lantern. Okay. Uh, is that yeah, what you're thinking yeah, of? No, I just I, I don't know. I just didn't know what he has coming up because I, I really like him. I think he's he's. That's I had never even seen him in Hurt Locker last year. That's his yeah. next one. He's got a lot of stuff coming up though. He was yeah. in. Now I'm gonna blow what he's in, but no, he I've seen him in some stuff before. I want to say he was in Tigerland with Colin Farrell, oh. um, but yeah, he. I mean, Hurt Locker was obviously his big breakout yeah. role. Um, I wonder. It'll be interesting to say if he starts playing other types of characters other than like, you know, the antagonist. I mean, like for the Jeremy the, Renner. Yeah. Did you think Hurt Locker was antagonist? No. Well, I. But he. You know, he was. But I want to see how he cleans up. If that makes sense. Okay. You know what I mean? You want to see him in oh, suit? Oh, a rough character. Yeah. yeah. Some, I mean, some... He, Bradley Cooper him. Yeah. <laughs> Bradley Cooper everybody. He's, I feel like that's off two roles, though. I feel like he's not necessarily getting into a rut now with rough characters. I feel like no. after two roles, give him three or four before you say yeah. he's playing to a type. All right, all right. Okay.